In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SRS. This is strontium sulfide. So to start out, we have strontium, that's a metal, and then sulfur, that's a nonmetal. We're going to treat this as an ionic compound. That means that the strontium, the metal, will transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So we write SR like this, and let's write S right next to it. So the strontium on the periodic table, that's in group two. It's going to have two valence electrons. So let's just put them on either side right here for now. Sulfur, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It'll have six valence electrons. So we said the strontium, the metal, will transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So this one we can put here, and then this one here goes over here. And now the sulfur has eight valence electrons. That's an octet, very stable. Since the sulfur gained two electrons and electrons are negative, it'll have a two minus ionic charge. The strontium it lost two, it'll be two plus. So let's put brackets around the sulfur there. And that'll show that the electrons were transferred from the strontium to the sulfur. These electrons right here, they're not shared. They belong to the sulfur now. We have this two plus and the two minus, those opposite charges, they're attracted. That gives us the ionic bond for strontium sulfide. So we end up with this is our Lewis structure for SRS, strontium sulfide. Do understand that if we had a crystal of strontium sulfide, it would be made up of a repeating pattern of this Lewis structure here. We call this a formula unit. But this is very useful. It shows us how the electrons are transferred from the strontium metal to the nonmetal, the sulfur. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.